Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome back to Easy English Explanation by Pooja Joshi. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and like and share my videos. Even your comments are valuable to me. So, this is the last part of lesson number 7, Packing. NCERT Beehive Book of 9th Standard. Good morning, my dear children. So, let's start with the last but not the least part of the lesson. Can you see here the picture that how the dog was troubling them? The dog, their pet dog, Montmorency. When three friends, three men, they were ready to pack their bags. They had packed the bags but they were packing the hampers that is the food items. As we have seen previously that when Jerome, our writer, when he was packing, then both their his friends that George and Harris, they were just trying to irritate and trouble him. They were mocking at him. But now it was Jerome's time to have fun and enjoy watching them pack with lots and lots of happenings, rather mishappenings. When they were not able to pack properly and even now came the dog's role, Montmorency's role, because he was very very naughty dog. So now we will see further. Let me read out first for you. We will start from paragraph number 13. He came and sat down on things just when they were wanted to be packed. And he labored under the fixed belief that whenever Harris or George reached out their hand for anything, it was cold damp nose that they wanted. He put his leg into the jam and he worried the teaspoons and he pretended that the lemons were rats and got into the hamper and killed three of them before Harris could land him with the frying pan. So, how the mo dog Montmorency troubles them, that is George and Harris, he, he came means here, the dog Montmorency came and sat down on things when they were needed to be packed. Whenever any things were wanted by George or Harris for packing the hampers, the dog sat on those things and he had the belief, he had made himself believe that Harris or George wanted only the dog's cold damp nose, not anything else. That is, they want to only play or take the dog's nose, not anything else. So, he always used to sit here and there on things, especially the thing which they wanted at that time to do the packing. Okay, he put his leg into the jam. Dog, he put his leg into the jam and he worried. Worried means here, he disturbed the teaspoons. He made the teaspoons here and there in a chaos, not properly arranged. He acted that the lemons are not lemons, that the lemons are rats. And he got into the hamper. And he killed three lemons, pretending that they are three rats. He acted that those were three rats, not the lemons. So, he killed three rats according to him. Now, let me read paragraph number 14. Harry said that I encouraged him. I didn't encourage him. A dog like that doesn't want any encouragement. It's the natural original sin that is born in him that makes him do things like that means here what is said in the first uh, paragraph sub paragraph of 14 number paragraph Harry is told that you have spoiled this dog because of you you have pampered him a lot and you encourage his faults and misuse mistakes then writer Jerome says the author says that 
देर इज नो नीड फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ डॉग्स टू बी एनकरेज दे आर नॉटी दे आर मिसीवियस बाय देयर बर्थ दे हैव दैट इन बॉर्न क्वालिटी ऑफ डूइंग द सीन हियर द सीन मीन्स द बैड थिंग्स द मिसीव्स इट इज एन इन बॉर्न क्वालिटी विच इज गॉट बाय हिम थ्रू हिज बर्थ The packing was done at twelve fifty, and Harry sat on the big hamper and said he hoped nothing would be broken. George said that anything was, if anything was broken, then it was broken, which reflection seemed to comfort him. He also said he was ready for bed. We were all ready for bed. Harry's was to sleep with us that night, and we went. Upstairs, the fourteenth paragraph, sub part, second sub part. Then packing was over by twelve fifty. Twelve fifty at night. So naturally, it was too late, and they all were ready for bed. Means they all were feeling sleepy, and George sat on the hamper to adjust the things. But can we really do so? Should we really do so? So. George said that no problem if anything is broken inside then I don't care because that by that time they were all very tired and George said that no problem let it be broken this thought also seemed to comfort him that whatever is there but actually the packing is done now it is over this thing only comforted him let it anything be broken from inside so he also said that he was ready for bed all were ready for bed by this time so harris was to stay with jerome and george that day and they all went upstairs upstairs maybe they were having their bedroom now the paragraph number 15 we tossed for beds and harris had to sleep with me he said do you prefer the inside or the outside j i said i generally prefer to sleep inside a bed harry said it was odd george said what time shall i wake you fellows harry said 7 i said no 6 because i wanted to write some letters harry and i had a bit of row over it but at last split the difference and said half past 6 wake us at 6:30 george we said so the explanation of 15th number paragraph they had to toss for bed as there is toss in the match to uh, decide that who will bat and who will do the fielding and bowling so same way they toss that where to sleep because otherwise there will be row that is the difference of opinion some argument so according to toss it was decided that harris will sleep with me me means yes our author jerome harris and jerome had to sleep together then he said harris asked jerome do you want to sleep inside or the outside see in every bed we both sides it can be slept no whether it is big or small but at least if two persons are sleeping then one can sleep inside and one can sleep on the outer side so here he asked jerome and jerome li- replied that i will prefer the inside so harry said it was odd it was strange that anybody decided and preferred to sleep inside he thought that Jerome will say that I prefer the outside of the bed. So George asked them, "Then what I I should wake you fellows?" As we all know that they had to move for some outing on that day. For that same thing they had done the packing, and as it was too late in the night, so it was required that somebody will wake them up. Otherwise, maybe they were continue to sleep for late morning. Harry said seven. In that also, Harris and Jerome had difference. Jerome said no six, because Jerome had to write some important letters. So they both of them had a bit of row. Bit of row means here see. 
bit of row a bit of row means they had some argument some quarrels bit of row then they split the difference at last split the difference at last split the difference means here you can see the meaning and also i'll tell you this means that they agreed somewhere in between that is one said 6 other said 7 so they both of them agreed on 6 30 but by the time this discussion and argument was over let's see what happened in the last paragraph of the lesson as well as our today's session 16th number paragraph george made no answer and we found on going over that he had been asleep for some time so we placed the bath where he could tumble it into it on getting out in the morning and went to bed ourselves so what happened in the end george gave no answer when harris and jerome has had a bit of row some argument or fighting for it then george has uh, was already asleep for quite some time as they both were arguing george had already gone to sleep maybe because he was very very tired so both of them had some idea to wake themselves all three means should wake up so they both of them did one idea that they kept the bath tub so whenever anybody is like uh, specially george when he gets up or maybe to use washroom or like the whenever he gets up in the morning or any time then he should tumble so because he will tumble as he will tumble then he will be waking up and as he wakes up he would be uh, waking up jerome and harris so to wake themselves up they placed a bath tub near george so jerome ke jerome an extract from three men in a boat so with this we end the session here as well as the lesson thanks for your cooperation bye bye see you take care